Dirty Laundry is your inside look at the fashion from the Critics' Choice Movie Awards red carpet. Thanks for checking back to Clever's Trophy Life coverage. Right now, we are breaking down the best and the worst looks from the red carpet. All right, let's kick it off with a big winner. She's basically America's sweetheart at this point. It's Lucita Nyong'o wearing Calvin Klein. This white dress was spot on in my opinion. Youthful, sexy, sizzling, white hot. <laughs> what did you think about it? I loved this dress. I loved the woman inside of the mm -hmm. dress. I'm completely in love with her and her look. Very daring dress. I love the geometry to it. And she's got the most perfect body. I mean, look at her shoulders. I mm -hmm. just, I love it. She was definitely showing off all of her assets and the mm -hmm. cutouts made this look really youthful. I love her haircut, by the way. Mm -hmm. No one really comments on that. Very true. But she keeps her hair very short and I think that in and of itself shows extreme confidence, which is always hot. Very true. It's very elegant. She just looked stunning. Loved her makeup. Everything was very clean. Loved the color. She just pops in it. Okay, Miriam, was this clever or not clever? To be or not to be? Uh, I say clever. Very clever. I agree. I'm giving this one a clever. Yeah! Up next, Margot Robbie wearing an Ellie Saab jumpsuit. Incredible. What did you think about this look, Miriam? Look at her pose. I mean, she's such a diva. Mm -hmm. I loved that she decided to wear a pantsuit. It's so daring to do that on a red carpet, and this girl rocks it. I think it's really sexy to wear lace. I feel like women do not wear lace enough. And a lot of women also don't cover themselves from head to toe with fabric and still look sexy, so she's right. getting major kudos for that because that's a risk. That's and true. she's the only person on this red carpet who actually took a risk, did something different. And there is a chance that this might not have worked out, but it was great on her and she looked so confident. I am giving this a clever. What about you, Miriam? I'm going to second your clever, so two clevers to Margot. Yeah! Amy Adams is pretty in pink in this beautiful uh, Roland Marie dress. I love this dress. I love the color. Uh, I think it's a little safe, but but I think she did it well. What do you think? I love that you mentioned safe because a lot of what we did see on this carpet mm -hmm. was very safe. And that is because these ladies and gents are waiting to pull out the big guns That's for right. the Oscars. They're just sort of allowing us to build this anticipation. And this is a step that's like, hey, I'm Amy Adams, I'm kind of risky, I like to wear bright colors, but just wait and see what I'm gonna do at the Oscars. That's what this says So to basically me. this is Keep fashion, your eye on me. Fashion foreplay. Exactly, do you like fashion that? foreplay. Let's start a hashtag. That's perfect, I love it. So would this look clever or not clever for you? I don't think it's the cleverest, mm -hmm. but I do think it's clever. So I'm gonna give it a clever, what about you? I'm gonna give it a clever as well. But Amy, are you listening? For the Oscars, we want to see something over the top from you. Julia and Meryl get gangster on the red carpet only from their noses up. Totally gangsta. I kind of really love the idea that these two were rocking some shades on the red carpet in the most conservative dresses. They were like church dresses and then shades. And yeah, I love glasses. that they came together. I think that's so cool because sometimes your best accessory can be a hot date and it doesn't get much hotter than this. I have to say True. these are like the two most powerful women in Hollywood and they're like, hey, we don't even care. We're wearing sunglasses during the day on a red carpet. That's when you know you're hardcore and you've made it. However, I have to say, I would have liked to see maybe a little more pop of color from these two. Meryl is wearing blue, and I love that they're also wearing sleeves. I think that's very appropriate for them. What do you think about that? Here's the thing. I, I think that when they put these outfits together, they weren't thinking, how am I going to pop on the red carpet? They were thinking, how will I have my personality and, and my behavior on the red carpet be the thing that everyone's talking about? But if I'm being honest, I would have liked to see something a little bit more from them. I don't know. Oh, it's a little underwhelmed. I'm waiting for the Oscars to see some greatness. So Miriam, was this clever or not clever? I'm gonna give it clever. Mm, I was going to say not clever because of the sunglasses. But then I rubbed off on you. But then you rubbed off on me and these ladies, like you said, are gangsta. So I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna give them a clever. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at Jessica Chastain. So last year, Jessica was nominated across the board. This woman is talented and her style was on point last year but she's kind of getting a little bit of critical fallback for this green look. I love the color. I'm not really into all of the floral 
stuff that's happening at the top. It's really busy. It's extremely conservative. And the color, although I do love me some green, especially mm -hmm. on, on an elegant redhead, that specific green is like the minty green that dentists wear when they're wearing their scrubs. I'm thinking a dentist scrub right now. I can see it. I can, can you see, see it. That? But I think that if she got rid of all the flowers on this dress and just wore it even as a simple frock, I would have liked it. But So if it was a different dress. If it was a totally different <laughs> dress, I would have loved it. But she has a beautiful face, great right. hair. But sorry, Jessica. She's clever for her face. I'm going to have to say I'm giving this one a not clever. It's not you. It's the dress. Mm -hmm. So I too agree with Jocelyn, not a clever. Sandra Bullock, I would make this woman my wife. I would put a ring on her finger. She's, She's so pretty. She's single, go for it. I'm going to, Sandra, I hope Get you're it, listening. Get it, girl. Okay, but we have to talk about her clothes. What yes, did we you do. think, Miss Davis? I think that this dress was kind of safe, but Sandra Bullock can do no wrong. And the addition of the accessories to this look is what took it to the next level. If she didn't have on the belt, if she didn't have on the perfect earrings, I would say, not so sure, but for me, that really makes this look high-end and red carpet worthy. I agree. It could look like a bridesmaid dress, but you're right. The accessories just took it into the red carpet zone. Um, She's gorgeous. She has Benjamin Button syndrome. She keeps yeah, getting she more beautiful all the Ugh, time. Hate Seriously, her. Sandra, what is your secret? We yes. want to know. Who is your doctor? Uh, so I think it's pretty obvious, Miriam, but was this clever or not clever for Can you? Can we say it at the same time? One, two, One, three. two three. Clever. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right, guys. <laughs> Obviously, you have heard our thoughts on the red carpet. Miriam and I had a blast doling out our clever and not clevers. <laughs> but we want to know from you, who was the best dress of the night? Was it Margot Robbie, Lupita Nyong'o, or Sandra Bullock? Hit the comment section to vote for a more complete look at Sandra Bullock and Margot Robbie. Click these links. Thanks for watching our coverage of the Critics' Choice Movie Awards, and don't forget to subscribe for more fashion coverage straight from the red carpet.